using views and filters. In NAV, I can use filters to find records or present records in a much clearer manner. For example, here on the customers list page, we have a filter pane at the top. This allows me to filter by one criteria from the column headings that are currently visible at the top of the page. However, if I want to use more than just the columns that are currently visible, and I want to use a column that's not currently listed, then I need to use either the advanced filter or add that column to this page. So for example, if I customize the page by using the application menu, then choose customize this page, then choose columns and add in postcode. If I move it up the list, then say OK, my page will reload. And now I have the postcode as one of the column headings. This means it will now be available to use in the filter pane above. So now I can filter by postcode. For example, in the W1 area, so W1 then star, to give me all the results that start W1, followed by any characters, which when I apply the filter, gives me one result. To clear my filter, I can use Control and Shift and A, or hit the red cross, or go to the drop down arrow and choose Clear Filter. A faster way to do this would be, instead of adding columns, simply use the advanced filter on the left hand side. If you click the little drop down arrow, you can see the advanced filter, and then build up a filter one layer, or one criteria, at a time. So for example, if I wanted to view just the customers that were domestic customers, I would choose the filter of customer posting group, and the criteria of domestic. And my list is now filtered. If I add another filter, such as salesperson code, and choose the value of PS, this is now filtered by two criteria. I can add a further filter to this, such as location code, and choose the value of blue. So I now have a multi-layered filter. This includes just the domestic customers that come under the salesperson of PS and operate out of the blue location. Once I'm happy with the filtered list, if I think it might be helpful in the future, then I can save it as a view. If I go to the drop down arrow and choose save view as and then edit the name so it's clearer for me in the future, best practice would be to try to reference the filter criteria in this title. So I will add UK, PS and blue as shorthand for the filters I have used. Then I can save it in my home menu in the navigation pane. If I say OK, then yes to restart. When nav is reloaded, in my navigation pane, on the left-hand side, Customers now has an expandable subsection. If I click it, I see that I have that view saved, which, when I click, will take me straight to the filtered view of the customers. This list is not fixed. It is a filter applied to a list page. So if on the customers list page the information changes, then it will affect whether or not they show in my filtered list. For example, if one of those customers no longer operates out of the blue location, but instead are assigned to the red location, the next time I view my filtered list, which is filtered to just UK customers under the salesperson PS and in the blue location, I now only have three customer records within that filtered view. This is because the customer 10,000 no longer meets the filter criteria of blue for location code. The same applies in reverse. If changes occur that mean more customers now meet the filter criteria, they will appear in my filtered view. So if customers 10,000 and 20,000 are both assigned to the blue location, when I go to my save view of the filtered customer list, it now shows five customers. This is very useful if, in your job role, you're responsible for customers of a certain type. Then, as the company adds or removes customers, your list will be kept up to date, such as when sales order processes deal with the customers for particular field sales staff or particular regions. This can also be done on the items list page. Here if I apply a filter to see just the items that have an item number beginning with 8, so the computers and computer components, then I use the advanced filter to see just the items that are not assembly items and just the more expensive items, so the ones with a unit price greater than £50. 
This gives me a new filtered list of computer items that are not an assembly item and cost more than £50. I can then save this filtered list as a view. I edit the name to include my filters. And when nav restarts, I still have my previous save view under customers, but I also now have a save view under items of my filtered item list. If later on I do not need these save views anymore, I can remove them, but I can't edit them and I can't change the actual filter option within the view. If I right click and choose customize navigation pane, at the bottom of the list we see my two save views. These I can choose and then remove. Then say OK and yes to restart the application. And now the two save views have been removed from my navigation pane home menu.